morning. It is December 15th. I'm here with Miss Hammett. So we call, I'm Profe Bay, according to our students. We teach Spanish and we are headed out for our teacher experience meeting the Capybara, I think is how you say it in English. I'm used to saying Capybara oh, yeah. in oh, Spanish because it's with an I. So we're getting ready to meet Muddy, the Capybara Barra. <laughs> <laughs> Catch, not to be scratched a little bit. Are you shaking? Can I just say hi? She's so shy, it's just ridiculous. Like, I want to be your friend. Hello. After everyone gets introduced to her, then we'll go out there and she'll probably just come out and visit with people. Also, capybaras, when they fight each other, they stand up. Oh, really? Like on their back legs? Yeah. Um, and they fight with their teeth. So, you might notice this dumb thing about capybara is she's afraid right now. Any person who's afraid would be looking at you like, what are you doing? But no, she's looking both ways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. You know, I, I stop scratching her, it all goes back down. Mm -hmm. But capybaras are kind of dumb in that <laughs> they get all puffy like that when they're happy, and they also do it when they're scared. And mm -hmm. how does that work? Yeah. <laughs> How do we feel after meeting a capybara? Oh, I'm a better person for it. Yeah, Ethan? It was a pretty cool experience. Yeah? I learned a lot. That was cool. Felt like a broom. Yeah, it felt like a broom. Felt like a broom. Yeah, so I can speak giant rat. Yeah, giant We learned also that the word for capybara is carpincho in Spanish, yes. and that our book is extremely realistic that we read, right? We need to have a chat with the author. No. We're very around. grateful for the author because she made us love the animals. Oh no, we are. We just need to find her. She got that inspiration. So that is it for our teacher experience. And we're very grateful to Melanie and Muddy for letting us meet them. And we'll see you another time. Bye. <laughs>